The legal issues involved in art law cases tend to revolve both in the stolen and the fake art context around questions of diligence, questions of um, gathering evidence and preserving evidence, questions of duties to warn. Um, what you find in these cases is that it very often will pit two parties that are both saying that they were tricked or deceived. Uh, a seller uh, will, will likely say, I didn't realize I was selling stolen or fake art. A buyer will say, I certainly didn't realize I was buying stolen or fake art. And so the law has to come in and figure out how to untangle that and who should win and who should lose. And what will frequently happen is the courts will look at, you know, on the side of the sellers, was a seller commercially indifferent to what are known as red flags. If there was real indicia that the art was uh, stolen or fake, a seller can't be indifferent to the trafficking in, in bad art. But at the same time, in a caveat emptor buyer beware market, a buyer can't be sort of blissfully ignorant of facts that that person really can and should be able to ascertain for themselves under the circumstances. And so the courts and the law have to come in and, and really try to understand who did what they were supposed to do and who fell short.